Hello everyone, I'm making this video to tell you that I think I found it. The last secret in The Witcher 3, as the developers have been teasing for the past few weeks. Uh, the secret you will not tell us about, was it in this map? Uh, no, it's on Skellige. I've already made a couple of videos about it, you can check them out if you want some backstory. But in short, first we had to figure out what it is about exactly. It actually continues, there's something more with it, but I can't tell more. And I guessed correctly that it has to be about Vivian in Skellige. Well, what do you know? If you somehow manage to get seven full years to pass and wait over two and a half thousand in-game days, Vivian can be found dead in her room in Skellige, just as Geralt predicted when he lifted the curse. Just to be sure, gonna ask one last time. Positive you want to do this? If we succeed, the changes will be irreversible. You'll probably also only have seven years left to live. At the most. Seven years free of the fear that someone might spy me at the wrong moment? Of the stigma of being a freak? A monster? Seven years of a life both true and unfettered? Yes, Kelt. I'm certain I wish to do it. All right. It looks a little shaky, it looks a little bugged perhaps, or unfinished. However, it's true. Hail be praised! I was actually able to catch her on her last walk as she returns from Kea Trolda. She entered the inn as she does always, except when she walked inside her room, instead of sitting on the desk, she just went to the middle and collapsed on the floor. Amusingly enough, you can still interact with her. Hail be praised! Which makes me think this might not quite be working as intended, there might be something we're missing or something that is broken, but so far, this is what happens. I tried waiting some more time and she never got up. She always stayed, just as you see her now. Alright, I'm recording this part as I'm editing the video because I got a response from the man himself, Philip Weber, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, who basically confirmed that this is indeed the secret. Okay, back to the original video. So there we have it, seven years later, just as Geralt predicted during the ritual, she dies. Now, you probably have a lot of questions, a lot of things you would like to try, and I did already try quite a lot, and I must say, I'm not terribly satisfied. Other than her collapsing on the ground and dying, nothing else happens, essentially. I tried going back to Tucson, I tried talking to Anna Henrietta, looking for Guillaume, looking at the graves in the graveyards, walking around Kerr Trolder, talking to Ceres, talking to the local innkeeper, there doesn't seem to be any correlation between what happens to Vivian and everything else. In my experience so far, no other NPC seems to be reacting in any special way, based on the fact that so many years have passed. They all act as though I did their quest yesterday. I suppose I gotta try that vampire who sleeps under Novigrad, you know, he was waiting for whatever year it was. Is it 1358 yet? No. Then fuck off! And speaking of passage of time, first off, you may be wondering how I did it. Well, I used console commands. And I gotta thank some of you for introducing me to a couple of new ones that I didn't know before. I was aware of the one that speeds everything up, not just the time, but the animations and the entire game in general. And that one was insufficient because I couldn't speed up that high before my game starts crashing, but in conjunction with this console command, which actually makes only time go faster and not the entire game, I was able to combine them both and get a passage of time that is like a couple of thousand times faster than normal. So this is how I was able to do it so quickly. And in fact, I discovered something else. There seems to be an end of time. Um, I'm not sure when exactly, probably like 10 years, where the time goes into the negative and the, the whole world breaks. The graphics goes all white and all kinds of colors. Large balls of light appear here and there. NPCs disappear. I don't know, is this Ragnarok or Gontor Odin taking over or just some kind of um, technical limitation of the, of the engine? I don't know. But it's actually a fun fact that um, not too long after Vivian dies, you just reach the end of time, apparently. Perhaps I gotta try seeing the um, Unseen Elder in that situation. 
So yeah, I think that was it. Um, like I said, it still feels like something is missing. The quest itself is still bugged on PC, or so we think. We meet Vivienne in Novigrad, she says she will go to Skellige, but she never appears there, and we have to fix it with a console command. Some people have suggested that maybe there is something we're missing between Novigrad and Skellige, and it is certainly possible. It's not necessarily the case, like, we see her at the docks of Novigrad, so I don't think there's anything wrong with her disappearing from here and just showing up in Skellige. But yeah, there might be something that we're missing still, however, the fact is, the game does track seven years after this point, and Vivian dies afterwards. So for now, that was it. Let me know what you think of all of this, and until the next video, stay tuned and be good. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, Got some problems. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now.